Hello, welcome back. Um, if you're new here, my name is Zarina and I am a graphic designer and art director. Today, I'm going to be designing a poster for Olivia Rodrigo, specifically her new album, Sour. This album came out a few weeks ago and I've really been enjoying it. Um, I know I'm probably not like the target demographic for it, but I've really enjoyed it, kind of brought me back to high school and I'm really impressed with her uh, for her songwriting, but also impressed with her general like design, her album covers and the aesthetics of like her music videos and everything. She likes to use a lot of cool retro and vintage imagery in her music videos I've noticed and she even uses some cool like film references like she referenced in one music video Jennifer's body and then also like Ingrid goes west a little bit. The end result ends up being a look that's you know kind of vintage and retro but also is very youthful and bright very like Gen Z and it inspired me to want to make a music poster. So. Here we are. This is sort of what I'm thinking. I'm thinking bright colors, but also um, kind of an old grainy photography style. And I have kind of a sketch. I don't think this is gonna make any sense um, to you, but it makes sense to me. Hopefully it will make sense in a few minutes. I'm kind of thinking of pulling inspiration from like old book covers a little bit with the like a, with a cool scripty type typeface. So to get started, I'm just going to look on Adobe Typekit and like see if there's any fun fonts that I can I can use. Okay, so let's look at some script fonts. Um, I don't think I want cursive, although there's kind of a cool thing we could do. You know, part of her look is like very, you know, high school teenage girl, like writing in your diary in your bedroom kind of thing, like composition notebook. You know what I mean? I feel like that's kind of her look also. So maybe handwritten could work, but it's, I feel like it's hard to find a good handwritten font. So let's do, um, it's brutal out here. I think that's the song I want to use. That one's pretty good. This one's kind of cool. It's got like a funky, uh, it's not a, what's the word for that? It's not a swoosh, flourish. That's it. Ooh, this one looks really nice. I'm gonna do these two weights. Cause it's really elegant and nicely made, but at the same time, it's really easy to read. Hmm. I kind of like that because it's like she's looking up at you. It adds a little more dimension to it. So I want to put some grain on the photo to give it like a really old um, feel, like a lower resolution kind of feel. Yeah. Add noise. At one point in the Good For You music video, she has these gloves, like these um, black gloves, and I want to create like a leathery latex kind of texture in the background and kind of darken it up a little bit. Um, so I have a photo saved for that and I think it'll look cool. Let's see. See, this is what I this is what I like. I feel like this typeface with this image and the grain, it almost looks like an old like romance novel. Yeah, this is definitely what we want. I really like um, my computer is being super slow right now, so. Um, but I really like the way this grain looks because it almost looks glittery. I, I love putting noise over things because if you add it so that you can see like all the rainbow color in the noise, do you know what I mean? Um, you can't answer but if you If you add enough noise that you can see like a little bit of a rainbow color, like a static TV kind of thing, 
I feel like that really works for her too because she's got this like teenager um you know glittery teenage girl kind of vibe and I feel like that really works I think the next thing I'm gonna do is add some like texture some stars into it um so let's open illustrator Another thing I want to do is I want to add, I kind of had it in the sketch, but it probably looks crazy. Some kind of smiley face stamp. I'm thinking I might have the eyes say like sour, or maybe it'll be frowning, or maybe the stars will be eyes. I don't know. So let's just play around and see. So I like these really glittery sticker kind of things. Um, it reminds me of just the stickers that are on her face in the cover. And it also just feels like something that a teenage girl would have in like her journal is just like sparkly stickers. Next, I'm gonna try adding in this smiley face thing. I have a couple I'm gonna try out that I made. Here's this first one. I like that color, but I don't know if the smiley face is working in the way I want it to. Um, so let's try the other one I made. I think it might work a little better. I like the way this stamp looks better than the normal smiley face, so I think I'm gonna go with this one. I might like try to make it look embossed or something like that. I don't know. Let's look. Let's let's give it a go. we've made good progress. I'm liking the way this is looking, definitely. I added the track list at the bottom, and I like how it kind of looks like um, like a movie poster, because she made so many movie film references in her music videos, so I think that's a nice touch. We have that nice balance going on where there's like the grain, the old scripty typeface, so it feels kind of vintage, but it also feels really youthful and like Gen Z. I'm liking the way it's looking. I still think it needs a little bit more. I might add, um, texture to it or I don't want to do another glitter noise effect because there's like seven <laughs> I'm doing that on like seven different things here I'm just gonna play around and see and I do want to integrate more color and like amp up the brightness a little bit more so let's see what I do
I really like the border though because you know what it it kind of does it even it kind of hammers in the vintage thing a little bit more because it feels I don't know what decade that reminds me of but just having like a plain border feels very old to me okay, I think we need to beef up the border a little bit more to fit type in there Okay, it's not working. It's not working and it's taking my computer way too long to do it, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. I do feel like there's something missing though and I think I know what to do. I think it's looking really good. I do think though it needs a little bit more structure in it and it also needs more color. So I have an idea. I'm gonna do that and come back. So the colored bar thing at the top looks really good. Um, I think I might actually, now that I'm looking at it, I might make the gray blue the gray box at the top blue. So actually, I'm just gonna do that right now. Okay, yeah, that looks better. It's, I mean, it's more colorful, which is kind of what I want. So I think what I wanna do is I wanna try pushing this a little more and like maybe playing with like the liquify tool or something to make it look like extra funky. So I'm gonna try that now and see if it looks cool. Yes, okay, that looks super cool. All right, this is kind of more what I wanted. Um, so I put a ripple filter on it and I think it looks great. Am I done? <laughs> I think I might be done. I don't know what else I would add. All right, well, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. Let me know what you think down below. If you like it, don't like it. Um, if you have any suggestions, that would be very much appreciated. Give this a like, um, subscribe if you want to, no pressure, but it would be really cool. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Uh,